Hi, welcome to excellab.org. Our topic is internal rate of return and IRR is a discount rate which equates the present value of future cash flows with the initial investment. Now let's say assume there is a project ABC and and these are the cash flows so initial investment is hundred thousand dollars and from first year onwards the project started getting cash inflows of twenty five thousand dollars and so on now what is the rate of return generated with this cash flow so we want to know what is the IRR so to calculate IRR we begin with equal to n there is an function called IRR in Excel so we write IRR we can see the function click on that and first you can see the syntax it is asking for value so so these are the values now we know this initial investment of hundred thousand dollar is a cash outflow so to make the difference between outflow and inflow what we will do we will will put a negative sign we put a negative sign so that Excel can differentiate what is outflow and inflow now we can see the parentheses here so so begin with equal to right IRR and give the range so this is our range of cash flows close it and we can have it is 20.21 percent so this is the IRR from the following project now suppose suppose in IRR we assume it is periodical as well as it's uniform uniform in the sense at the end of the first period at the end of the second period and so on now suppose if the dates are different it is not uniform then what so how to overcome this so let's see so different dates so starting with the initial investment of investment on let's say it is on 10th January 2012 then 15th May 2013 then the cash inflow in the second year it is on let's say 1st August 2014 then 15 July 2015 then 1st October 2016 and and the last one let's say 20th December 2017 now now these are periodical but but it's not uniform it's not like at the end of the period so now what how we will calculate the internal rate of return so Excel is an excellent you know function called XIRR it's again an inbuilt function so so begin with equal to right XIRR so first you can see in the syntax it is asking for value so so these are our values which comma and the dates close the parenthesis and enter so we can have it 16.39 so we can see the difference if it is uniform at the end of the period then it is 20.21 but once it becomes non-uniform so we the rate comes down it becomes 16.39 and we know that IRR assumes that project cash flows are reinvested at the project's own IRR now we will see another illustration so here it is Now here, X a person he invested in thousand common stock at eleven dollars on twelfth December two thousand ten. The purchase price is eleven dollars, and subsequently X receive dividends twice, which is one dollar per stock on eight December and two dollar per stock on fifteenth October two thousand twelve. And then X sells the entire holding on 15th November at $12 per share. Then what is the return on this investment? So, so these are the common stock, which is 10,000 units, and and the face value is given, which is $10 per stock. Now, so we can we can begin. initial investment
it is eleven dollar per stock multiplied with the number of stock which is ten thousand so so we got it it's hundred and ten thousand now this is initial investment and it is it is cash outflow so what we will do we put the negative sign so that excel understand what is outflow and inflow so this is hundred and ten thousand dollars and and it is on 12 december 2010 now he got dividend twice so dividend one which is one dollar per stock so one multiplied by number of stock which is ten thousand and and this is on 8 december 2011 again he received dividend second dividend and it is two dollar per stock so multiply with again two multiplied with number of stock and it is on 15th october 2012 now excels the entire holding so the value is it's at the time of selling it was the share or the stock it was at twelve dollars so twelve dollars multiplied with number of stock and it is hundred and twenty thousand dollars and it is on 15th november 2012 now what is the rate of return from this you know investment or transaction so for this we can see you know it is periodical but not uniform that is not at the end of the period so what we will use we will use xirr which is internal rate of return so so begin with equal to xirr and first it is asking for values so these are these are our values put comma and and dates close the parenthesis enter so we can see it is 18.25% from this transaction